Duchess Meghan hike photos were not staged, says Paparazzo, who took them. And welcome back to Sussex Squad Forever. And today I'll be taking you through an article by Kaza. And it states, it's funny that the Windsor ran out of post-coronation stream by Tuesday of this week. And they are barely any news about King Charles or the working royals for days. So everyone is still just talking about how the Duchess of Sussex went on a hike in Montecito. These people would have been outraged no matter what. If Meghan hadn't been photographed, the story would have been, why is Meghan hiding? She doesn't support Harry's decision to fly to London. They are getting a divorce. If she had made a statement about her plans to celebrate her son's birthday and or released a photo of Prince Archie, Salt Island would have shrieked and wailed for weeks about how Meghan pulled focus. So she stayed quiet last Saturday and then went for a hike with friends on Sunday. The fact that Meghan was photographed, the photos were sold to TMZ, likely at the strip prize, was a big deal. She was not parked very often. Given the timing, some people thought Meghan arranged the hiking as a parked stroll. The royal reporters thought that, as did Maggie Kelly, Kelly streamed about how dare Meghan wear designer clothes, the fancy jewelry on a pub stroll hike, which is weird because Meg's jacket was G crew and perfect for a mild weather hike. And Meghan was just wearing a watch, just like many people do. Anyway, I never thought I, ha I would get to the point where a paparazzo was to weigh in on the subject, but here we are. The photographer who took the pics, a man named Clint Brewer, posted a message on his Instagram, and I quote, I wish these photos were staged, would make my life a lot easier. Wow, a paparazzo had to come out and basically say, we are not getting the calls from a published. We are not just staking the Sussexes. That's how we get to the photos. And that was the article by Keza. Personally, I was so very much glad to have seen Megan out on a hike with friends. That was on Sunday. As much as people are saying that she was kind of trying to get attention from people. But as we all know, the coronation had ended on Saturday. And her going on a hike with friends on Saturday was just something else. They, and they shouldn't use it as an excuse. We, as we all know, people like Megan Kaylee, the tabloids, they will always look for something so as to take or to capture the attention of people. Something like this, they've made it so open and wide and they've made it go viral so as just to tarnish Megan's name. But for people like us who know Megan, who love Megan, who support Megan in each and everything she does, we know that that photograph was not staged and that Maggie, the tabloids and some other paparazzi are just trying to seek attention, are just trying to get news so as to capture them in their articles and papers. My people, we know what Megan is capable of and her going on a hike with friends isn't something wrong. And I'll be taking you through some comments that people brought about after reading Kezia article. And uh, somebody here says, I love how the photographer chose a hockey photo of Megan. Nice jungster position of the two photographs, a happy and relaxed Megan and a sour and bitter Maggie. I totally agree with this person. From Megan Kelly's threat, statements this one clearly shows how bitter she is 
how sour and uh, we know very well she's just trying to fit in Megan's shoe and whereby she can never get to that level. Somebody else also says, why do, why do these white women hate Megan? She's been reduced to write for the Daily Fail and have seen the least, the least one nasty job from her about Megan. They have never met her. So what is the reason for them to hate Megan? I totally agree with this person. They have no right to write something negative about Megan. They have no right to write nasty things just to capture people's attention. This isn't right. They, they, they kind of need to now get started on focusing on their own things. They just need to leave Megan, Harry, Archie and lily but alone and start focusing on better things and they should also start thinking on some other ways to get other information to put on their papers somebody also says it really is hilarious isn't it even the paparazzi are coming out to be like man you all are nuts i totally love this this is really really true and simply because Whatever people are trying to bring about, whatever people are trying to insinuate about Meghan Markle is really, really hilarious. Somebody also goes ahead and say he wanted credit for hiking and hiding in the bushes for hours. Maggie Kelly is just another PC Morgan. I, I love this. Somebody calls Meghan Kelly another PC, PS, Morgan. We can now see people like Megan Kelly and the tabloids who have always tried to make Megan look like the bad person, who have always tried to draw attention to people by putting off, by putting off false information about Megan are now being unmasked. The truth is now coming out and we should let Megan live a rent free life because she deserves it. Megan is an icon. Megan is somebody who has been loved by people. And uh, I bet people like Megan Kelly, the tabloids, are now supposed to sit down, strategize, and see how they are going to start getting information of some other things and let Megan, Harry, and the kids alone simply because they do not deserve whatever they are trying to put across to people and uh, thank you so much for staying tuned to our today's podcast and kindly stay tuned to our next and kindly don't forget to like subscribe and share bye